Okay, so in this video, we'll look at instruction 8.2. That is essentially how to download Mendeley and then just install it and then just to ensure that you have to add in for your for Word. Um, so in your practical manual, you'll see there's a link and when you hover over it, it is a clickable link. So that should take you to a page that looks like this and it should say download for Windows. Click on that. That will download a .exe file and after it's downloaded once you click on that then you can run or follow the prompts on that um, install file or execution file and then you can install Mendeley from that um, and of course then just ensure that you have at the end you tick the box that says you want a desktop icon um, for that of course there are different managers for Mac OS um, and this is the one uh, for Windows that I downloaded because I have a Windows system. Um, if you struggle with Mendeley, you can also use something called Zotero um, that sometimes works easier for Mac. This part, the Mendeley part is not um, compulsory. This is just a referencing manager that I use and which I would like to introduce you to. So it's not compulsory to use. If you do not feel comfortable using it or completely do not understand how to use it, you can also just continue on like normal. Okay, right. So once you've installed it, you should have something on your desktop that looks like a bunch of atoms in an M fashion, or connected in an M fashion, and it says Mendeley. Right. And in there, um, you can then add references, which will, I will show later on how you can add references to that. But for now, the most important part is ensure that you have everything closed, um, especially just essentially Word closed. That's the most important part, it needs to be closed. And underneath Tools, so you'll have nothing here. And then you go click on Tools, and you will have something that says here, Install MS Word Plugin. So click on that, follow the prompts, and then they, that will follow. You. It will allow you to download a bunch of things. Once you've done that complete, you can open your Word, you can open Word and underneath in your ribbon, so this top part here in Word is called a ribbon, we'll go over a few aspects of that short, shortly, then you can go to the references tab and you should have something that says Mendeley Sites Omatic. And the nice thing about this is after you've um, added this, there can there will also be a Mendeley site and sometimes there's something here to the right, if you click on Mendeley site, you see it pops up here to the right and there's all sorts of things and essentially you want this or this you can use either one um, but I like to use this one you can play around with this this is a this is free you can use you can experiment uh, with it if you struggle to connect your computer with it or your whatever don't worry about it just move on um, and how this works is once you've added the reference which we'll do later Let's say you have something here and just want to insert, just want to insert some sort of reference to it. You can add a reference and then you can insert a bibliography as simple as that. And you see now I've added a reference and you can add multiple references. So let's say you add another one and another one and another one. There we go. And oop, all your references are They're in the correct style. You never have to worry about it again. You don't have to stress and you see all the DUIs this is for example the one um, I use um, <clears throat> but you'll use the REC method which we'll get to later okay um, if you should be able to use the Mendeley website to answer most of your questions I'm not really a technical manager if you have this but there is some support if you struggle you can contact um, other options that there are. If you struggle to install Mendeley for Word, sometimes what I found is if you quickly log out of your UP um, email uh, of your UP account and then install it and then re-log in for some reason that works. Um, you can play around with things like that. Um, there are it does UP does give you some difficulties sometimes with these kind of things. Okay. Thank you for watching.